Moving on to TCA metric number two, price variation. Again, pretty obvious, we know what it is. Um, slippage, so if you're looking at the graph for market orders, slippage would be on the left hand side and price improvement on the right hand side. A lot of us would think it would be 50-50, it generally isn't. We see on a true market, i.e. the LMAX Exchange Central Limit Order Book, that slippage to price improvement ratio is roughly two to one. You'd expect that through all the providers. Unfortunately not, we saw some results uh, as skewed as nine to one. Two to one seems reasonable on the basis that client flow generally follows the wind. So you're buying in a rising market and selling in a falling market. So a couple of things to notice there is that the ratio is not always two to one. Also, if you look at where the lollipop ends on these graphs for bank one and bank two on the slide in front of you, with LMAX exchange, price improvement and slippage goes all the way out, it's normally distributed. So at the end, at the end of the spectrum, you can see quite a lot of price improvement, like well above five ticks, and quite a lot of slippage well below five ticks. But price improvement is seen to be halted at a certain level with the last look providers. Now we move on to, on the right hand side of your, of your screen, move on to limit orders. Now this graph is actually drawn to scale. I, the only lines on the graph are LMAX exchange. Why is that? With limit orders, there's no price improvement with last look providers. Doesn't seem to make sense there either. Well, it does make sense. And our liquidity provider will tell me, we don't need to give price improvement, David. Right? We're not a central limit order book. If the market's two, four, and the client sends me a limit order to pay five, we fill them at five. We don't need to fill them at four. Likewise, if they send me a limit order at four, and the market blips down to three, I don't need to fill them at three, I can fill them at four. Quite right. That's probably in the execution quality information. But what you see with LMAX Exchange is that the blue line almost mirrors, the, which is limit orders, almost mirrors the red line, which is LMAX Exchange market orders. So pri uh, price improvement is identical for market orders and limit orders. Now look, some of you will tell me that doesn't matter. We can't cope with price improvement. We send an order in to be filled, either fill me or don't. We can't accommodate being filled at a different price. That's okay, we've worked with clients like that, but what I would say to you is, please measure that price improvement or loss in price improvement, because it matters when later on we'll show you how to optimize your fill rate. So please try and measure that price improvement, and it's the one big difference between firm liquidity and last look liquidity.